Kenyans have been watching a horrific movie for the past two weeks. A well-known preacher by the name of Preacher Paul McKenzie is accused of killing over 87 of his followers by ordering them to starve to death in order to meet Jesus Christ. The pastor has been executing his gory job at Shakerhola Forest for the last seven years using the name of Good News International Church. This has shocked so many people and it even made me to dig deep inside of what they have been doing. Before I even start. The Bible tells Christians in the book of John 4 1, not to believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. The world has been flooded with many prophets all claiming to represent God. There have been reported cases of pastors swindling unsuspecting congregants. Cases of extortion and mental slavery are very high in the current Christian dispensation. Christians no longer pay attention to the word of God. The focus these days is on miracles, and that is exactly what the fake pastors are delivering. The Teens Republic today will expose fake and notorious pastors in Kenya who are false prophets. Vampires of human souls and merciless beasts who are no longer fishers of men but tormentors of men. Who are these false pastors? And what are they doing behind the walls? Please let me explain. Welcome back to Teens Republic, the life to life educative channel. Before we continue please subscribe to this channel. We promise you will have the best videos for you to watch and learn. Without wasting a minute, here are the names of top con pastors in Kenya. And I'm sure some of us have trusted them, and even send them money in the name of offerings. Number 1. Pastor Ezekiel Odero. A televangelist from Mombasa named Pastor Ezekiel Odero, has made millions by peddling anointing oil and bogus miracles. He drives in high-end vehicles and is constructing a cutting-edge university in his Kivulini theater with the help of his naive followers who bought bogus anointing oil and strings from him. You can take a village mind to town, but it will always think about the village. It will go back to the village. Niko na kuku kenyeji pale anawika na hajui tuko town na taa huwa zinawaka na anawika na muuliza kwe kuku ni nini kuku kuku nani alikuroga We challenge the pretend pastor to treat patients at Kenyatta National Hospital rather than pretending on television that he works miracles Today Kilifi has one of the biggest cities that is being built by a pastor A pastor who we are all suspicious, whose intention it is, he has. He lives, he has built a huge city, a multi-billion city if you go to Mavueni in my constituency. That pastor came here to, to, to. Today, that, that, that pastor, the children who go to school and they carry white handkerchiefs on their heads as they are doing exams because they have bought those handkerchiefs from the pastor. They carry water that they have bought from that pastor, they come to class and they put its, the, the, the water in their ears so that they can learn better. Today, children who are sick are being withdrawn from the Kilifi County Hospital and taken there to that pastor. They are prayed for, they die, and they are taken. Women and men who take antiretroviral drugs are being told to stop. Sick people on diabetic are being told stop taking drugs and you come we pray for you. They die. Number 2. Pastor Kanyari. Pastor Kanyari of Salvation Healing Ministry. His church is now a mini betting platform. He usually asks his gullible followers to send money so that he can multiply them. Where in this world can the money be multiplied through fake miracles? Number 3. Prophet David O'War. In his book, Apostle Matthew described false prophets like this one as ravening wolves. The man has made billions by selling anointing oil, and he hires social media influencers to mislead Kenyans about how he does miracles. Thanks to his fans who are spiritually blind and unable to recognize the grandeur of Jesus Christ, he recently constructed a mansion in Runda. 
Number 4. James Minor and Gonga, a pastor. He established Nano Evangelism. He has allegedly been charged with killing Mercy and Jerry in a collision with his Range Rover and buying off the police to keep the evidence secret. He was previously detained in Shimo La Tewa. He charges for his phony miracles. Number 7. Prophetess Lucine Duter. Victor Kanyari's mother has quite a reputation. She refers to herself as a healer of HIV and AIDS. That she can entirely cure it through prayer. She began charging for her special prayers once she had persuaded her flock. Let me conclude by saying this. Because Christians have become lazy and excessively dependent over the years, fake pastors are in charge. The majority of Christians place their faith in their pastors and have elevated them to godlike status rather than believing in God. Regularly pray and read the Bible. 2. Trust that the Almighty God is greater than any pastor. 3. Pray and have faith in one's own prayers. 4. Stay away from doctrines that promote pastors. Thank you for watching this interesting video, let me know what you have in mind in the comment section below. If you learned something, like this video and subscribe so that you can't miss videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to watch these other videos. I'm sure you will like them. And remember successful people look like you because you're ready to learn. Thank you.